Hey. Hello there. What's happening? Hmm. I'm still ill. Still quite ill. So that's good. What a sniffing, coughing, sneezing. Shut up, phone. Be quiet. Hi, how you? All right, sentient Roomba, big crisp full chuckle. Thermoso, flaming cushion, Vondel Park. Neg Jim, subscribe with Prime. Thank you, Neg Jim. Cheers. Scientologist, all right, pal. I was just about to watch Chainsaw Man, but I'm here for show and tell. Hey. I'm trying to remember what the day's episode will be. Oh, hi. Say this name. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil it. Aye, it will be. Must be. <clears throat> Super light cheesecake. Hello. Just had a big chippy. It's about to start snowing up here. Oh, that sounds beautiful. That sounds great. It's very frosty here, which is nice. It's nice and it's dry. And the grass is all that crisp, crunchy way. So even if it doesn't snow, I'm happy with that. I'll take all of that you've got. Anything that isn't fucking rain. Especially this time of year. What are we talking about? Talking about nothing, Griffith Beard. Just, just nothing. Oh, dog barking out there. Here's something to talk about. Yes, mate. <laughs> I ordered these ages ago. And I've been watching and waiting for the card game to get here. And it's been so hard no fucking opening these when they came earlier. There's still, well, you won't be able to see it, there's still tape around here. So, what have we got? We've got the Straw Hat starter deck. We've got the Worst Generation starter deck. I like that it's Kid on the front. It seems very appropriate that Kid would be the, the face of the Worst Generation. We've got Seven More Lords of the Sea. My crocodile there. The big man. And we've got... God, I'm still annoyed at the translation. The Animal Kingdom Pirates. They're the, they're the Beast Pirates. It's the Beast Pirates. It's the Beast Pirates. And... I actually forgot I'd ordered that. A fucking... Just a big... You know, a big pack of fucking... Booster decks, whatever you call them. I don't even remember the name. It's been that long since I've been off the... Off the old, the old cards. Mad. Hmm. Just started reading the manga on Sunday. Nice, Graffy Bears. Only 900 and something chapters to go, eh? That's a booster box. I think I said booster box, didn't I? I think the first words I said was booster box, you fucks. <laughs> Look, I've no touched a uh, trading card since... Since um, shiny dark Charizard Zero, <laughs> just just a flat cap and a tweed jacket appearing on me. You know, there was a shiny dark Charizard, beautiful thing. Do they still do dark cards? Is that a thing? Right, let's open this. I just nearly sliced my finger. That's great. I'm on chapter 109. Oh! So you've passed the chapter called The Adventure Begins. <laughs> Fucking 100 chapters deep. Was that us starting? Right, yeah, wee darling. How does this actually. It doesn't look as if it just. How does that. Well, I've already ripped it because that is a really fucking awkward way to open something. Hmm. <clears throat> oh. 
instructions for the game. We're not playing the fucking game. I'm collecting bits of card with pictures on them. Rules. Exactly, Ben. <laughs> oh, is there a, a game associated with this? Oh, the fuck. That's more than I thought it was going to be in there. Man, cards are smaller than I remember them being, but it's because my hands were smaller. You know that way? Like, what age would that have been the last time I was, like, properly handling Pokemon cards? Fuck, man, I don't think I was even... I, I must have not even hit my teens. I don't know. I can see a shiny peeking out. So they're giving me Dawn cards. Jesus Christ, I, they don't know off. So I, I've no really... Um, are they standard card size? I think... Does that look card sized? I don't I don't know what I can show you for comparison. The <laughs> An Ultravine. You know when you put Ultravine in your nose. That looks like standard card size, doesn't it? So I we get Dawn cards. They're like your turn plus a thousand. I don't give a fuck. They're just wee pictures. These are just energy cards to me. These are just energy cards that I'm never going to use. Right, let's see the shinies. Oh! Yes, my man. Look at that shiny monkey. Monkey de Luffy. Beautiful. And another one. Monkey de Luffy. And then that one again. Monkey de Luffy. And then we got... Oh man, these shinies are nice. We'll get some... Zolo. That's right, I said it like that on purpose. We get some normal, some normal Usopp's. We've got... Hey! No, I don't. <laughs> Is this a mistake? I think they might have fucked this. Because it's Karu, right? You've got some Karu. There's no fucking text there. Is there no meant is there no meant to be text there? Am I supposed to write in a move for Karu? What does that mean? Like what I don't understand like it's a counter card. Mm, right, right, so that's just a thing sometimes. They're just going to have a blank bit. I was really, I was worried that something was wrong there. We've got some Sanjis. Getting ready to do a big Diablo Jambi. We've. Diablo Jambi? What about fucking Diablo Jimbi? Alright. Big man. The big da. We've got. Taunty Taunty Chopper, Cotton Candy Lover. We've got Nami. There she is. Fucking hell, man, this is a lot of kids. We've got Nico Robin. I nearly said Nico Nico Robin. Jesus Christ, look at the fanny bones they've put on her. <laughs> Fucking hell, calm down, lads. So Wayne's playing this game. We've got Vivi. There she is. Looking quite normal, old Vivi. And then we've got my favourite boy, your best friend, Big Fucking Frankie. The big man. We've got Soul King. Grobrook. We've got Right, so we've got some guard points here. I don't know what half of these do. I'm never, I'm never playing the game. Got a nice jet pistol. A gum gum jet pistol. We've got... Yes, mate. A wee Diablo Jambi. Lovely. And... Who could forget? The Thousand Sunny, am I right? 
Beautiful. God bless all who sail on her. So here's what I'm thinking, right? We opened them and we had a look at them. Um, I don't know, I can put the Dawn cards in as well. I'm not going to open the other starters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open two of them and then we'll call it. And then the next stream we can open another starter and another two of them. Just, you know, eke it out. Um, delayed gratification, as it were. Because it's good to um, to edge. <laughs> I'm never going to get this fucking thing back on here. I should have bought something to hold all the cards. I'm never, I'm never getting... Oh no, wait, I can set them in the wee... Whoa. The wee house. There you go, right. We'll put you back in this box then. Edge. Right, we'll set these down here. So we'll set them down there. Hey, and we'll open this. I went to scratch my head with that in my own. I'm amazed I've no like taken an eye out with a scalpel because I'm just really slap dash with it. See when I've been using like the the tip to apply wee wee tiny gun plus stickers, it's just getting fucking chucked about everywhere. Like it wasn't extremely sharp. Oh fuck, sorry, I've just kind of realised what, the, like, these are the ones that would sit on, like, the counter in a shop, aren't they? And it, like, thing me's open at the front. Just when I was looking at it, I thought the box feels like the kind of thing I've seen before, I wasn't it? It was when I just saw the wee perforated bit here. Let's see, let's see. Eh, uh, how does this display? It's really. Oh, this is strange looking. Oh, I see it. I see it. And then. <laughs> As if I'm saying, I mean, maybe I'll just put this. I'll put this in my work. Oh, I don't. This is great, isn't it? This is what everybody tunes in for this fucking nonsense. Hey! A tenner. Tenner a pack. Come on, tenner pack. That's nice, isn't it? One of them, but it's in your house, it's in your room. It's where you live. Oh, Romance Dawn, One Piece card game, box promotion pack, one card per pack. Let's see what's in here. Why did I shake it like it was fucking ramen powder? It's a shiny. It's a shiny. Oh! Oh, sweet! That's fucking cool! <laughs> we got a shiny Alvida! That's fucking cool! A shiny Alvida! That's sweet! You may trash one card from your hand, return one of your opponent's characters with a cost of three or less to the owner's hand. I don't know what that means. Because Al Alvida doesn't get a lot of play. It doesn't get a lot of. Thing. Right, we can open two of these. We're allowed to open two of these. Right, let's see. Oh, this is, see, this is me, I like it. A nice, nice pack of cards, something I've not really done in years. Used to ask for a couple of quid to go to the pool, and then me and my mate would combine what we were given and buy wee packets of Pokemon cards. Because we always said it costs more than it actually costs to get into the pool. And uh, we would uh, we would get some Pokemon cards. We hope we what we had spare. No, that's interesting. Because I noticed the back of all the other cards are like that. But the card right at the back, the back of it's like that. So that's interesting. No, either that is a a card at the back, or it's just a wee advert. Let's see. We've got... Sai! And a wee, a wee baby five in the corner. 
Spoilers, by the way, but this will probably mean nothing to you who these people are. Aye, good old Sai and Baby Five down there. Actually, I, I should be saying to people, like, maybe be careful looking at these. There might be, like, spoilery shit. Like the one I'm about to show you. Look away. <laughs> if you're no caught up. If you're no past Punk Hazard. It's smiley. It's big smiley. Oh, yes! <laughs> Bartle Club, baby. Bartolomeo. Love, love him. Love that cunt. We've got... Ooh! Alright, so you get cares like that. Man, that's nice what they've done with it. It's like a, like a coloured manga panel. But the actual, the bordering's different. It's uh, the Crescent Cutlass. And the crocodile dishes it. That'll make sense to nobody. Oh, I wasn't expecting, like, folk as recent as this in, I suppose it makes sense, doesn't it, where the manga is. That's Bao Huang. We Bao Huang. Fuck you, Bao Huang. And another fuck you. You annoying bastard, you. Scratch me a poo. A poo indeed. Yes. Kawamatsu. Do you like sumo wrestling? This will all make sense to some ease in a thousand chapters. Another crocodile one, Desert Spider. Like fucking carved in the in the sand. Woo. Hey Oh oh I just I just spy something. I just spy something nice. Uh, I just saw the corner of something I recognised. We've got Sasaki. Great design. Fuck did you day, mate? What did you do? We've got Otama. Don't look at her face. Don't look at the side of her face. She's gonna away. She's away quickly before you notice anything. And oh right, so we'll show right. Okay, so the one that had the one piece film red on the back of it is just an advert on the back of the card because it's just a dawn card. That's fine. But Fucking man, I feel like a very lucky, lucky boy. We've got shiny Caesar clown. We got a hollow Caesar. Man, I can't like the big smile on my face right now. <laughs> and we have got shiny Thunder Bagua. Slight spoilers for the current place in the manga. Well, a wee bit past where we are in the manga. Man, that was very kind. That was a very kind. Holy right, we've been gone for twenty minutes. We need to go quicker with this second pack, and then we can get to. Man, I can't believe we got any shiny Alvida as well. That's sweet. We need to set these now. We safe. Please, well there. Oh, you doomed, Ben. You thought you were going to maybe not. <laughs> How do you? You know what? I'm going to be. Oh wait, no, they've got a wee. A wee. Thing in them. Oh, I'm already seeing the, the corners are shinies. I want them to be a surprise. Alright, so again we've got a we've got a film red thing at the back. I take it that's gonna be a dawn card. Aye. Alright, so that's like a thing to maybe expect for the first wee wee while. We've got Who the fuck is Oh that's um Ah, uh, what's his name? It's no Funk Freed, is it? With the elephants march you. God, imagine, just for the people that know nothing about One Piece, what the fuck does that look and sound like to you? Oh, I've not seen you in a while. That's Double Finger. I don't remember Zala. I don't remember that name. Is that a real name? Zala? I just always remember it in Miss Double Finger. Yes, mate. Yes, boss you. Big boss you. We boss you. Oh, Mocha. We Mocha. Big Mocha. Running with the sweeties, protecting the others. 
for people that know nothing about One Piece, like, listen, Sai, you can't, you can't even say the words Jojo trading card game because, you know, it would ruin me. Shit, who was he fighting there? It's uh, it's Cavendish doing his round table, but I can't mind who that is he's chopping. It's obviously for Dress Rosa, but I can't... Who's he really fighting again? It's no thing me with the... Oh no, it's, it's one of the... It's a toy soldier. It's a toy soldier. Hey! What's the do? Very lucky woman. Very lucky woman. Why the fuck did you get a card? It's fucking Urashima. Big bastard. Fuck him. No, don't fuck him. Right. Mm. Look away if you're not up to date on One Piece. Seriously. I'm not going to say the name either, but here we go. And then we put that away. And you can look. We've got... Oh! <laughs> I just saw a shiny! Like, could, do you see how excited I am about these wee bits of card and some of them have a shiny... It's so nice to feel like this again. It's so nice. Uh, we've got... That's a really cool drawing, actually. I like the style they've got for Perona there. It reminds me of an artist, but I can't even think who. Does it say? I know so. Mind they, they did that thing for a while where it would say. Oh, it does. Ryuda. Doesn't it sound familiar? Just. Just Kaido? Kaido? You want to focus, mate? Are you too big to focus? Kaido. Right, you, want, you had your chance, mate. <laughs> We've got a shiny queen. Zuma, 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 zuma. The tiny's big fucking focus, please. There he is. What is the, what's the what's the lyrics to his chin again? He can't lose weight because shit. What is it again? And he's doing his zuma, zuma, and it's the gorilla dance. Is it like I I I'll, I'll, I'm too handsome to lose weight or something like that? And then the one that made me kind of pop off when I spotted it. Oh, I'm so happy. A big shiny Bartholomew Kuma. Please focus, big man. I love you. Kuma, please. Kuma! There he is. Holding his Bible. Have they written Bible on it? Are they allowed? Yes, they've written Bible on it. Nice. Very nice. Aye, very, very timely. Well, I'm chuffed. I'm fucking chuffed with him. Ah, the sickness is locked in. Locked in. Confirmed. Confirmed. Now, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to cope with this just sitting, like, in the corner of the room, unable to be touched, but I'm going to have to just be a good, a good boy. I'm sorry. Down here. Cracking. Cades! I love Cades! Well, that was 25 fucking minutes. Showing off bits of cardboard. Some of them are shiny! I know these characters! Hmm. Advent booster box. <laughs> Don't give me ideas. Oh, that was great. That will go at night. Man, see when you think some people have just streamed that and only that. Oh, what am I doing? These ones are plugged in. Oh shit, I missed a sub for Andrew. Good evening, Valley ones. I hope you're all keeping well. 42 months in, we're finally cracking packs. Only 41 months until the chippy role playing college streams. Chippy role playing. <laughs> Cheers, man. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, should probably open Steam, shouldn't I? 
Oh fuck, it's, it's immediately sitting on 40k Dark Tide that I haven't even booted yet. I bought it like a week ago and I've not booted it. There's Ben with fucking 16 hours played. Uh, what am I looking for? Arx Fatalis, there you are. Jesus. Good God. Right. No, oh my God, we were getting chased by a beast last time, weren't we? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Then we go like that. I hit play. I'm going to turn it down in my ears because I think I... How did that happen? How did that instantly skip? All I did was press the volume down button. Right, hold on. Something weird's happening. Because the volume down button... Oh, it is putting the volume down. I think it counted the volume down button as like hitting escape or something. Regardless, we're here. We've got audio. We've got you. And we've got each other. A uh, resume? I think I was mid... Mid running for my life, wasn't I? Oh, this is when it's around the corner, isn't it? Wait. Is it moving? No, it's probably once it sees you. Wait, hold on, what was doing here? Get your man with a... Bone, some dwarf flesh. His big ribs. So I think the cunt's been eating these dudes. Uh, we were going to get the keys out, weren't we? So we can just click on the door. Quickly. Hello. Goodbye. Hey, right, the big room, the big room. I don't understand though, because that Disney... Strange. It shouldn't work. I'm trying to get a look before he comes calling. Oh fuck, here he comes. Wait, hold on. There's a wee guy. There's a wee guy. There's a hold on. There's a body under that. And there's that mold that I wanted to grab. Um, what was I going to say there? I mind. There was something I'd been thinking about. Oh wait, hold on. What's this? It's maybe something's jammed? Something's in the way or something else? See, we're going on a depth first search for the main quest. I mean, I just... I just know that the guy that was guarding that side entrance or whatever, like, just kicked the shit out of me, so I thought we'll just keep going down and see what happens. So there's that mould down there. Does this come down? Because there's like a squash dwarf under it. Hmm. Are we still kebab IRA? You know it. in case there's any other uh, levers that I've missed or some shit. I know there's the one over there on the wall that doesn't work and I was convinced that it would maybe like open this and drop it into lava or something but it doesn't, I can't use the, I can't use the switch yet. He's probably just going to kill me in like two seconds. Um, let me get the keys out again because I wanted to check something. Oh move quickly, move quickly. When we get through here, it was like, we fucking insta-died, it's not as if anything happened. Right, so wait, hold on. He's 
just you just walk through it. Walked right through that door. So that makes sense why it seemed too sudden. Because we turned, we shut the door, and then we walked forwards. And we it's as if we just dropped. So that makes sense. Can we squash it with a big piston? If we can figure out how to lift the piston. Right, I'm just going to enjoy a wee moment down here. So this does not function, right? It shouldn't work. For now. That doesn't open. No, can he unlock it? I'm looking for buttons or switches. Oh! Oh! Right, hold on. Is that what that switch over there does? I forgot, it should be read the manual. The, the, the instruction thing that it was telling you about to put the power source into this and do that. Put it into this and do that. I bet you he doesn't go directly under it and stay there long enough. If I get meat, like can I chuck something? I don't have meat. Um, and I don't think we can make it. I don't think it's like um, initiate that, jump down and get it to follow you. And if you're just out of range for a wee second, you know what I mean. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't. Let it kill me. Hi, I'm here. For rib cages, right? We're gonna have to. Oh fuck! We're gonna have to make some room. Uh, right, hold on. No, that's not there. How much space do they take up? Two. That right? Two. So, put one there. Uh, Away, throw that away. Uh, take that. Do they stack? They don't stack. Right, let's try this. <coughs> but how do I accurately get the fucking ribs under that? I suppose I can just no, I can't do it here because I've need to lift it and then put them under it. Just need to what, get lucky with your throw. This throw has to be immaculate.
please. Please, surely. Eat the ribs, go for the ribs, go for the ribs! No! Ah, fuck you, fuck you! He's ate them, he's ate them! Bastard! It's fine though, we kinda understand it. It's fine. Ah. Right, I'm, I'm no doing the, the place. I'll, I'll just, you know, make peace with, uh, with throwing them. I was surprised how well that throw worked out. It's fucked the machine. It's fucked the machine. Let me do another wee save. <laughs> oh. oh, Are you like dead? Oh shit, have I not got any room for that? just needs that out of the way. What are these? Um, you know what? Just uh, set that fish down there. Right. Okay. Wait. Why did... Wait. What? Wait. None changed there, so... Hmm. Unless there was just a space up here that got filled in and something moved. Regardless. Um, are you... Very strange that the the smoke gives off light. And this doesn't move. Mm. Right, still doesn't Should move. Work. Hmm. Here I'd already started moving when you outed me from a dark tide time. Please don't tell people how I left. Imagine I told them about your Tarkov time. I don't even know what your Tarkov time is, but. Like look about in here now. Oh, oh! A little metal key. Can I get in there? Oh! Did I, did I just take damage for that? Oh, I didn't even see you. Fuck. I'm just checking that it's not in a name. Okay. Right, let's see what's happening. What did, what did that do? Jesus. Take them. Main logbook. Report 87, year 266. Brown season, third day of the week of the Eagle. After weeks and weeks of hard labour, we finally discovered a vein of mithril. There was a cry of joy from the workers, and as they stood before the point where the vein of mithril emerged, they had tears in their eyes. It is situated far away to the east, as it is quite a long way from the grinding room we built a track upon which wagons will transport the ore directly to the grinding room. Report 88 uh, Since discovering the vein, we have dug in all different directions from its initial starting point. 
when we mined north we discovered a strange cavity. It seemed to be both natural and artificially dug out at the same time. There was a strong animal smell coming from it and we thought it must be the den of some wild beast. As this is the week of the rat, I feel some trepidation about what the future holds for us. So they unearthed it. The beast. I wonder if that lever's done something through there. I'm worried this fucker's gonna be up and moving about, is what I'm worried about. me that it's getting back up then. Are you... Hmm. Oh wait, we've got a little metal key, didn't we? So, maybe the little metal key lets us in the bit down here. Don't follow me. Just checking. Let's get that little metal key ready, yeah? I see, I see, it's opened up a wee, it's opened up a wee loop, hasn't it? You bitch. I see what you've done, I see. Come on. Ah, it's not to walk through. Somewhere down there, I think. Come on. Show us your tee hee pose. Can't she? Well, that was quite uh, uneventful for what actually happened, but hey, we killed it. I hope we killed it, and we go at a level. to round numbers. <sighs> Two left, it's got to fuck something up. Let's put, um... Wait, why did I put stealth up? I didn't really think about that. Ah, what was I thinking? Fuck it, put them in a... Uh... There. Aye. Save. Right, that cunt must have knocked a wall through or something. I assume they'd knocked like one of these down to make his way through there. That doesn't. He... That doesn't he make any sense. I've left that power source in that machine, haven't I? <laughs> I'm sorry about the sniffing. It's just, it's gonna hurt. I just know that's something that, like, some folk fucking hate. So I'd like to apologise. Oh, wait. Oh, it's right. It, it destroyed it. Right. I see. Makes sense, doesn't it? Incoming. something quite strange about there being lava behind there, but it's no, like, pouring out. Yeah, right, I think we can go down this way. I really hope there is, like, a, a dwarf left. I really hope there is. 
because I need to know if they've uh, offended me and my countrymen with a, a voice. Beds. That's like kind of bunk bed type. Aye, ladder up there. Another mole to make a sword. Hey, shit, no room for it. I just get too much stuff, man. Eh, uh, throw that away. Oh! Uh, cool. Not that there's anything else lying about. I mean, I, I know where that is. I can always come back and get it. something that blows one of them or was it just because of the way we used that other machine can I use that ladder no too big too big for it please let there be a wee hidden gnome somebody who made it well, not a gnome There's bits of gnomes here. I don't think they made it. Forge. Oh, well, we read about the forge and how we operate it. And we still have the... the pamphlets on us. Metal mining. I take it I can mine metal as well. To, like... To then forge a sword with... What? Where are we going? I'll take a chunk of gold, thank you. Oh, they must stack. Yes, they do. Thank fuck. Look at the size of that! How's a gnome swinging that? I suppose they're strong and they'll just shot. Well, I suppose it makes sense that, that the beast has been here and killed them all. I think you might be able to soft lock yourself here if you do the forging stuff too soon. Noted. Thank you. I'll try and remember that. Chunk of metal. Chunk of metal. Chunk of metal. Alright, let's see what they are. I think I've got chunks of metal, so they'll stack at least. Mithril, I think. Right, well, when they were saying about discovering Mithril in my brain, I was kind of like, that sounds like a pretty good thing. I bet that makes a, a bitchin' sword, but I assume there's probably one of those things where it's like, take these steps and make a, a really cool sword. Nothing else here. Motherfucker. 
It's a shame how often rats are wee enemies. Can he just be pals with a wee, with a wee guy? Oh, fucking hell. I was about to say, oh good, like went from over there, I thought, oh that guy's got a head, but barely. Right, we'll take that and we'll read this. Akinor, I think we're about to run out of mithril. The situation becomes more disturbing every day and I can't find even an ounce of mithril in our minds. We must find a solution without delay. Oradak. Alright, we've got we drop bits, have we? Dead end. Right, that drops down. But uh, I think I want to go and just look at the forge first before I go drop them down any holes, you know? Jesus, it's dark. Nothing, wee man. Not a thing. It's weird to think that they accidentally dug that beast out. The forge. No even one wee guy. I was hoping there might be one, you know, made it hiding in the corner. So aye, this will be all the the stuff. That's the same idea, something to flatten shit. Uh, oh, I'll take that. No, no, I won't. Here's the thing though, see if we drop down that hole. How do we get back up here? To the forge, unless there's like a wee door. Have we passed like another door that we can unlock? I mean there's got to be a way, so I may as well just go and drop down that hole. But these are the doors, you know, that's just I didn't go down here. Forgot to check down this bit. Wait, is this where the hole it is? Okay, that's fine. Well, that's how we get back. Oh, ladder. Good. Uh, how do these work? Have I ever gone down a ladder in the game? Well. That's one way to do it, you fall and then catch yourself at the bottom. So this will be the thing they were talking about that they set up to... to send the... Oh, hello. What is that? <coughs> Alright, John Mayhem, is happening, man? So it does that. 
Oh, public notice. Way out. Incoming. What does that do? Oh, you know what? We can save and we can test it with something. Might as well. Fuck about. Right, save. Let's put a chunk of gold. Did that make me drop my torch? What just happened there? I think I had lit a torch so I had light and then I think it just went out and dropped. Aye, we opened some packs, Peter. There's some... I've got them sitting here. I'll just... I'll show you two things quickly. We've got a shiny queen. And a shiny Alveda. And a few other shinies that are in there. They're sweet. They're fucking sweet. Um, they're so sweet that I spent fucking 25 minutes opening two wee booster packs and a starter pack. Why can I not pick that up? They should stack. Wait. Does that count as a... What have I made here? What have I done? And why did nothing come out there? Try this with something else. Fuck it, put a helmet there. I don't know, reload the save. <laughs> I do not know. Right, I think we're walking up this, but it looks it. Using it as platforms. Shit, another deep guy. You nearly made it, pal. What you got? Torch. Right. Now, what does that mean then? Because this feels as if there's no other way. Ah, wait, hold on. Yeah. Is that mithril? is mithril, it's a big chunk of mithril. What's my space like? No space for mithril. I don't need bottles of water. Fuck four bottles of water. I don't think that's going to fit in one wee space though, but we'll see. Um, I will just see what happens. I did not mean whether I just... Oh, oh! There you are. Did, you, did it go on the ground? It did, it went on the ground. Hey, let's make some space here, man. Throw away some fish. We'll eat ten apples. It probably needs four spaces, maybe. We'll see. Um, how have I got eight necklaces that I haven't sold? Where was I finding them? Ah, we don't need some garlic on us, do we? Let's see. Four spaces? Nah. It's gonna take more than four. I'll get rid of them. Uh, I want that. We'll chuck away the carrots. No, you know what? We'll eat the carrots. Don't want to waste them. Wait, ah, wait, 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 wait. Maybe you can pick it up. Maybe I take it to that and it puts it out in small chunks. Oh. 
fine. Oh, forgot I had to put this thing in last time. See, that's probably going to destroy one of those power sources, though, innit? You know what? I'm making a hard save in case I fuck myself here. Oh, God, we need to, we need to overwrite. Right, um. Mithril time. I don't know. Is that how you spell mithril? Was it with a Y? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I because um, see, usually if you can put something in your pocket, when you do the shift click on it, it usually makes a noise, as in like, no, you can't pick it up. But I just can't. Eh? Oh, and that power source is locked in. Okay. Well, the metal can sit there, then. I guess I better explore a bit more. How did I get up there? Hmm. Did he jump for up there? Or can I jump from a ladder? I can fall. Turn the jump. Sweet. then. I really expected that to, I don't know, make the mithril appear on the other side in wee bits, unless it sends it to the forge in some way. But then the, the whole setup of that suggests that it's like you do something there and something comes out the other side. Aye, the sign said in incoming, that's what that's what was making me question, was it something coming back for the forge side? But then I just wondered, is it... Do you know what I mean? Because like, what one of these would do that? I, I take a tiny bit of damage when I walk over them. Well, oh, that's big damage actually, if you just stand there for a second. Aye, that's... Wait, there was another sign that said incoming in the squasher room. Oh fuck I I the wee shoot But what does that do? Like I understand that it will send things there. Wait, wait. Is there another bit I've missed that says... What I'm thinking is, so what's the bit on the right hand side for? Because it does show you as if it's the opposite. You know the other, um, the other wee bit? I'm just checking in case there's signs around here that I've not noticed. See, we might as well have another look in the old, uh... To make an object, you must first use two machines. You should use the ingot maker. This machine will melt your ore to obtain a calibrated ingot. Following steps described how to make an ingot. Place a powerful stone in the machine to give it energy. Put two large pieces of ore into the oven. Take 
you know, to put two different types of ore in at the same time. We should need our eyes to bind the metal, add a reagent to the mix. A reagent? Pull the lever to make the ingot. Is that, is that the oven? I'm thinking of that for moulding a thing, but then, would it maybe be you? Is this the oven? You know, put metal in here with a reagent if you need to bind the metal, and then mm. something is. I, I, I'm just, I'm having another. And there's a thing either side. Oh, that'll be the oven up there, maybe. That might be it. It's a shame they're not labelled. the lever to make the ingot. The foundry should be used as follows. Place the power stone in the machine to give it energy. Put the mould of the object you wish to make into the caster. I think it may be that one I'm standing in front of over to the right. Put the ingot in the oven. Put the lever to produce the desired object. Man, these are really unclear what they are. Well, let's... I'm wondering if that whole, you know, pull the switch for the incoming bit, I wonder if that's just a convenient way to send things, but it might not actually mean anything for the mithril. Like, maybe the big chunk of mithril just needs carried and put in the machine on its own. Again, I probably shouldn't be fucking about with the mithril right now. Like, uh, Secondary was saying about maybe don't use mithril here. Here's all day. Try making a sword, like a, with a, what have we got? Chunks of metal, we've got chunks of metal, we'll try making a sword. See what happens. Try and figure out which machine is which. So this one has no levers or anything. That one's got a lever, that one's got a lever. Right, let's say, uh, save. Yeah. So that lifts both of them, and that puts a fire up the top and makes them do that. I'm just wondering what they would do. Um... Right, let's test this one. That closing makes me think that's the oven. So the ingot maker, this machine will melt your ore to obtain a calibrated ingot, right? So two large pieces of ore, now hold on. And in the oven, take care not to put two different types of ore at the same time. Should the need arise to bind the metal? Do, so binding, does that mean I was thinking bind would mean if I was using two different types, but it says take care not to put different types. Pull the lever to make the ingot. Next, the foundry should be used as folded. Place the power stone in the machine to give it energy. Put the mould of the object you wish to make into the caster. Put the ingot in the oven. So I think this might be actually the thing making the ingot. Fuck it, we're going to try stuff and see what happens. By experiment, you know? That reagent step is for the mithril thing, right? That makes sense. So we'll just see what happens. Put some metal in here. Maybe we'll get an ingot. No. So maybe we put them in here. I'm so confused. Oh shit. Let's see what happens. Hey! We made a 
mad ingot. A piece of cast metal. Alright, so... Right. Foundry should be used as follows. Place the power stone in the machine. Get it. Put the mold of the object you wish to make into the caster. Put the ingot in the oven. So these are the casters, I take it. Did it leave one? Ah, it did because we used two. That makes sense. Um, so I think maybe I put the mould down here? Which is strange though because why would it have two sides doing the same thing? I assumed it was like put the moulds under there and put the put the ingot in up here. I think that's what it's saying. Again, we'll fuck around and we'll find out. Do you need to be turned correctly? Oh god. Oh, I've fucked up. Oh, what have I done? You can just sit like that. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Right, he's saying something's wrong. This one? Or do you mean this side? Oh, look at that! Oh, hold on! See, there's no wee hand icon there. But when I hover that, there is. Ah, right. I think I can double click. Well, that's a that's not the position I thought it was going to, but that's fine. Let's see what happens. This feels like I'm doing fucking alchemy here. Does it come out the other side magically? Aye, right, fuck it. These things happen. A two handed sword. We made. A, I should, there should be a chivo for that. Where's my two handed sword? There you are. Oh, fuck it. Take that every time. Two-hander. Zweihander. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Made a big two-handed sword. That can stay there, because we don't need to move it anywhere. So... Alright, there's mithril shit. There's mithril stuff to be done at some point. So I take it when I want to make a gun. I take it I would just need to bring the big mithril chunk there and, you know, do that shit. But... thing that's throwing me a wee bit is where else can I go here? Aye, secondary there is. There was, a, there was another mould in the dorm rooms but I, I didn't have room for it. Well, I might as well just go and grab that and bring it here since we're not going to be forging anywhere else. No, Andrew, sure the hole was just um, the hole was just above a path you take anyway. This does it actually lead to anything. Where were you? I think it was this one on the right. No, the left. Oh no, don't just die. Grab it like that. So that looks like a, a machete or something. Some kind of machete. Cool, that could just chill out there. Aye, right, so here's what I'm... Now, what room was what? That's the dorms. Let me go up there. What's this red stuff? You know what I mean, all this? The dwarf bits. See the room where we stamped them? 
where we splatted the guy. There was a wee door in there that was locked, but we've picked up one or two keys since then. So I'm wondering if there may be something cool in there. But I'm just noticing this. And I see a teleport right there. I'm trying to think where that is. Right, I'm just doing this to fill out the wee bits of the map. Because I'm pretty sure around the corner here's collapsed. Well, no collapsed, it's just a fucking air vent. Dead end. Alright, I guess I'm going to go and try and see what can be done. I've just realised something. See the image of your mini-map? Is it, just this, is it just the same map, but inverted? Because look at the bits that were red are now this weird, negative colour of blue. I think the map might just be an inversion of that. Just saves you having to like recolour in it and just put an invert filter on it. So, where does this go? Oh wait, right, we're going back towards like where we did the platform, aren't we? I'll never be able to move all this myself. Ah. Because down here, I think, is where we got the, uh, the original dwarf ribs. Yes, right. somehow hope that this door can be opened. Oh baby! Save. Oh right, aye, it's back to where your, your man appeared. And it grown in here? No. Wait, actually, aye! It's on the map. There's a tunnel. I just can't even do anything with it. Ah, actually, that's where we came in originally, and then when we turned around, we go chased. Right, so we've got a wee bit more exploring to do. Is that no? And yet it joins up with that bit of the tunnel. You know, there's a bit at the end of this on the map that's no filled in yet. Why? Because I'm pretty sure we come down this way. It's because it's blocked off, guy, but... But... Bastard. I was convinced one of those keys was going to do it. So this is like going aye back to there. Which would just bring me to the other side of the bit that's now blocked by a a rock slide or whatever it was. And that seems to be like through that direction is the way towards the the teleporter. I'm a wee bit confused here. <coughs> I mean it, it might just be that I can't go any deeper than know. Because I still don't seem to have a way to knock down these walls, you know, that you you click on and he says I couldn't possibly do that myself or whatever the pattern is. <laughs> um... Did you visit the room where the beast would get you? I the um... Wait, the room where the beast would get me? Oh, you mean the one where it just like walks through the... Through the door? If it's that wee key in the drawer you're thinking of, I got that wee key. 
Unless there's something else in there I've missed. Aye, this one. There was a wee key in there. Must have just missed like a, a key sitting somewhere, something like that. That was me thinking there might be a key under the book. Nothing else in here. Curious about why you might even use that for the incoming thing. So I don't seem to be able to go any further down there unless they. Um, unless I can. Uh, no, because I checked from here, there's no any keys lying about. I did check this. Boundary eye. Um, <clears throat> I wonder what happens if I go back across that bit. Would you, you know, when you jump across the platforms? Because I assumed this bit would just block as well, so you didn't even, you couldn't possibly go back through here, but. Saved before going down there. Um, I feel like I, I don't know how to make any more progress down here, do I? So I don't know, maybe I need to go and head for Akbar's place. Try and battle that guy with the, the mad armor on. With my fucking daft wee two handed number. Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to come. Check the dorm rooms. A can I go that way? There's nothing else in here. There's no any keys lying about. There's no bodies that may have a key on it. Where the mithril was, I mean, looking at the map, that's the big room with the mithril, but there's no other paths coming off there. That's the bit where the teleporter is, but it clearly doesn't connect to this with the looks of it. Seems to still be this way. I'm just thinking, wait, wait, what stopped me getting down here or through there? Let me try and remember, that's the room where we flattened them, and we opened this door, didn't we? We a key. I think we did. Aye, and we walked into here, and it wouldn't let us go any further that way. No. What am I... I'm confused. 
confusing myself now. That's the room where we met the beast. Aye, right, 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 right. And that is obviously the way the beast came in. But it's clearly a tunnel. But I could, like, I tried crouching into the tunnel that it came out of, but it wasn't letting me in, and there wasn't, like, an interactable. I just assumed I could maybe, like, go through here into this area and explore. Because here's the thing. How else do I leave this place? So there has to be a way. You know, like, I can't, I can't teleport yet. I kind of just do the teleport thing. You know, kind of do a mega spasium and just. Poof. I think I'm going to have to have another... I think you're missing a key, that's what I was worried about with those other locked... those other locked doors. I was hoping it might be in a kind of... What'd you say? I don't mean an obvious place, but... somewhere that it sticks out a wee bit. Unless it is and I've just been... walking past it. Here, it's no something like I should send something through that machine because when it comes out here, it brings something with it. Or is that even how that works? Well, that's his incoming, and there's that machine you pull the lever and it vanishes an item. Or are we imagining this? Let's check the floor up here for keys. Let's have another wee look at this. Because I can't interact with it. It's not as if I can knock it away. It's not clickable, I'm hitting crouch. Aye, it's not even like an interactable. But it's obviously a tunnel that links round to there. That's just, you can twist that. And I kind of get in there. Uh, Let me just double check, there's no like a wee floating key that I haven't added to my key ring yet. be missing a key, so I'm just going to have to walk and keep an eye on the ground or or something, because I, I know I've already done this, but I'm like triple checking it just in case. And that just leads to the, the platform. Alright, we're going key hunting. We're going scrounging for keys. Unless anybody wants to look it up, that would be fine with me. So that it doesn't actually just kill all the momentum. Me spending the next like 45 minutes looking for a, a wee key. So I think I've picked up three in, in this whole place so far, two or three. You didn't have anything on you. Can't even interact with him. I believe there's a key in the dorms. I think I might have picked one up in the dorms, I don't remember. I think I did. Kinda hard to check again. Right, um just double check there where that beast fell through if it somewhere. Nothing in there. Oh wait. This is a 
couple that have been like that, and I've never even thought to crouch to see. I'm just going with like your standard vision. Not enough of the. Uh, and even if there was one up there, I don't know how you would get to it because that jump is insane. Can he climb that you? Right, let's see. Fucking. It's because I come in here, big rush. No, no, I don't see anything. Ah, thank you, secondary. Thank you. Right, that key is taking us places, hopefully. See, that's why we need people to be on the stream saying, oh, you should maybe check here because sometimes you're just so convinced that you've scraped an area but you've been a wee bit impatient or something and you've just blanked it. So this should open one of these two doors, maybe both of them. Go in there, I'll just check if it opens the other door as well. I saw a few signs when I opened that door. Oh, my jaw. Sorry, I'm. Ah. I've been uh, I've been clenching in my sleep and it's. It's fucking me up. Uh, nah, okay. If you swear it, it's like you, you've been clenching and it fucks up the alignment of your jaw for a wee while. So when I said my mouth isn't closing the way it should, you know the way your teeth sit against each other, it's like that's aligned. Okay, right. Save. Right, foundries that way. For oh wait, oh we've been here. I remember. Right, aye, I'm forgetting. This is the way we came in, and that's all collapsed. Aye. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we did activate the portal then. I forgot we'd activated the portal. It was like the first thing we did when we came into this area, and I completely blanked on it. Did we come down here? That's where we came in. Right. Aye, I'm just filling out this map a wee bit. So it's clearer. Uh, right. So I don't think there's anything else. Well, the thing is, there must be something else though, because we've still got a door that we can't unlock, which would let us through to here, whatever that is. And we're, oh shit! No wait, wait! I thought there was nine levels. I thought I counted nine levels. I didn't realise we were on the bottom level. Well, that makes sense why there isn't one to go deeper. That makes perfect sense. Eh, I want to just go and double check around right this way. I never even considered trying to use my lockpick on those doors. Know that I think it might have done something brilliant, but you never know. Aye, we did see we activated it. Eh. Uh, some stones. Alright, Teenape, how are you, pal? left we can do? Oh! Remember the earth and the water tribes? Wanted us to kill each other for for a for a prize. So 
that the funny thing is, the thing I think you need to do for the main quest is indirectly hinted at at the beginning of the 20 minute cutscene where you hear you're a guardian. I'm struggling to remember that cutscene. I remember we're doing the kind of the round table meeting. Um, I'm trying to remember what we did. There was the talk about the meteor. We went up and we looked out and I think we saw the crashed meteor. What else did we do? We dispelled that purple field and I think it was us walking to Akba's side entrance to his palace or whatever and there was the guy kind of orc looking dude um, he just clowned us the king ordered the arrest of a god I, I kind of remember that barely Right, aye. Mother of Fallen Orbit Planax. Find the secret way into the Temple of Akba and destroy the meteor. Check out show the secret spirit Mega Spasium. Raise Dollar Shaney. Give me the book to Guru. The Goblin Earth Clan asked me to kill the Water Clan. Goblin Water Clan asked me to kill the Earth Clan. So the Earth Clan is just gold. The Water Clan is a magic item. I feel like I would rather kill the Earth Clan for a magic item rather than just some gold. Because didn't didn't we actually kill one of them as an, a test and it gave us a marker doing on like this floor or something? For an object. Oh I back into the the Windy Caves. Uh... We've still not found Oliver's chest to put an emerald in. bit immediately because that noise is driving me insane. I think I might have been walking past Oliver's chest or some shit. You know what I just realised I did not do? I've got those... all those... Um, I've got all those... Uh, oh that's nice. Peace and quiet. I can't remember what I was saying. I've got those... The keys. Oh, the keys I got for the dwarf bit. But I never tried the thing me... The... I never tried my wee thing me a keys on those chests. Or some What was that? Oh, you're just a... A floating dagger. Wait, can I wield one of those yet? I do not yet have the skill nope. to do that. skull texture just bulging out the side making no sense beautiful oh there's all those bottles I chucked away when I got drunk eh uh, where am I going <laughs> where was I gonna go teleporter I wanted to go to the teleporter don't know why I didn't go to it down on the, the 8th floor sometimes you just make daft decisions seem to be taking the very, very long way. <laughs> Another 
another one just sitting there. Did you drop that? Were you the bravest wee rat in town? Uh, aye, go there. And remember we walked into the the snake woman place that kind of looks like that. And that one was saying like it is not your time or some shit. King. Don't let us delay you further. A man. Doesn't even get a title. You alone will be the end of Akbar. Yep. That's me. Right, is there anything changed around here? No. Did I go and talk to Chinkash after after the when I was told it's not your time yet? By the other snake lady. I don't remember if I did. Yeah, I'm just thinking, secondary, when you said about the arrest of a guard, it made me think about, right, check out the guards. But everything here seems in order, unless these, these cards... flower. This was where the murder happened, was it? Well, no, it was a sa oh. no. was that a sacrifice? Um, trying to think. I think we did speak to her again. Let your mind, mind die. Your man's saying up here. Hey, what did the stars tell you? If you would excuse me, I really do have many calculations. You still doing that, mate? And lots of horoscopes to prepare. Let's get another look at this. So that'll be the meteor, I take it. I assume. Maybe no. Um, there's nothing else about here. Locked. Still can't open that. Of course, I don't have a key to it. I think I already chanced this before. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. Not really a very successful attempt. But he's not saying it's impossible. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. Not really a very successful. Oh, fuck it. I'm always going to save scum before shit like that. I'm really trying to remember that thing about the guards. Because the... It was like, bring a guard to the meeting room, wasn't it? It was like, bring so-and-so. Greetings. Free us, Guardian. Okay, I'll try. I mean, what's going on there? Oh, that was the council room that you're locked out of. They look like we switches. You alone will be the end of Akbar. Greetings. No, this is just the present, isn't it? Are the snake men too, or only snake women? It's just, um, pretty sure it's been like said they're just. 
just snipe women. I still can't open that door. Hello, wee man. Oh! Of course. Herzog, I presume. That's the name. Tell me why you killed Fallon Orbit Planix. Are you the high priest of the cult of Akba? No, mercy. Don't kill me. Oh, guardian of the light, I am no priest. I swear it. The rituals were only to bring my dear wife back from the dead. Tell me more, Erzog. They contacted me, but always remained hidden in shadow. The priests assured me that if I prayed to Akba and performed the rituals, yeah, my wife would return to me. But it was all lies. Cool. Oh, please have mercy on my wretched soul. Give me another good reason to spare your life, mortal. I can help you. Calling people mortal now. The entrance to their temple is through the metal door and the yellow tulip. They gave me the password. Fat Capel. The door. The door in the tavern. Fat Capel. Have mercy on me, kind guardian. Die, Azog. Sweet. It was a bit of a walk to level eight and back, but a fun one. I mean, I was I was planning to go deep anyway, and it means that I could just teleport there when I want when I want to make this mithril type sword or whatever it is. Sweet. You growling at me, big man? May you save the fate of Ox. Aye, that's what I thought. A guardian is here. Aye, I'm Shigara immediately on a massive demigod power trip. Look, see what you think. The last... Oh, we're having a wee chat with the king, are we? Is it my time now to come to your place? I hate to have to repeat this once again, Moonshire. Find Krahaus and return it to us, or you will regret your slackness. Krahaus? You know that. I've been doing everything I can to find these rebels for the last 20 years. Ever since they kidnapped my daughter and murdered my wife. I promise you that. Enough. The Order has no interest in your sob stories. Results are the only thing that can save you from the expression of our disappointment. Now... I'll get my best men on it. Best man. Sister Shinkash will stay here to help you, as always. Interesting. I'm sick of eating troll food. <laughs> Must have been that. I'm sick of eating troll food. Strength. Now, why did that go to 38 when it was at 40 last time? And I've no changed like, oh, is it the big sword? Because I've no changed armour, I've no changed rings. But that was at 40 last time. Hmm. Let's see, we'll put you to 40. Right, King. Here. I've never noticed that. Why are they red dots on my... <gasps> because I put my thing up there. Because I put my... My... Um, ethereal link, I think it was. I think it was because I put ethereal link up. Nice! So is that a proximity thing? Let's see, do they fade? Yes, proximity. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's the kind of shit I've been looking for. King, what are you saying I don't there? understand any of this. What was this conversation about? <laughs> Listen, no offence, but I think it would be best if you stayed out of this. This concerns something internal to the kingdom. Um, Mr... Guardian, chosen one, please, Guardian, save us. And all of a sudden, it's like, right, you, just be quiet. All that tells me is that the king does know where Kerzog or whatever the fuck it was is. 
and he maybe took it. That's what it makes me think. Don't let us delay you further. Oh, so you're nice to me again. Okay, okay. Uh, Ezog told me the Temple of Akbar is located under the tavern, and he gave me the secret word to enter. But um, what um, I'm wondering what. Hmm. I'm curious because none of that conversation was put in my book. So I think I'll go and see Shinkash and see if she's maybe a bit more chatty about it since it concerns her people. Shinkash, in what way is the king beholden to the order of Adurnium? It's nothing to do with your quest, Guardian. Suffice it to say that there is a debt that must be paid. Have you ever heard Guardian say the with king has such something which disrespect? The treaty. The king must honor our treaty. That's all. Oh, you're being very vague, you lot. There's still nothing about it in there. Really? Wisdom gazes. Oh, your man. Is he willing to tell me anything? I'm just curious why this is even here. When, if you dispel it, it doesn't get you anywhere. Bell no. the wisdom of the Northern nothing. guide you, Amshagar. Uh, I think I opened this. Yes, I did. Let's get some potions of red oil. Yeah. All your books and such. Oh, here, can I use this yet? Remember, I tried to use this. Eh. Uh, I do not yet have the skill nah, to do that. So many object knowledge, that's fine. I got a wee fright there because I forgot she was in this room, and because I moved through the door, it was as if she appeared in front of me. I don't think it showed, but I got a wee fright. But they don't want to tell me anything. Do you hear that? A cash? I heard my name getting said. And there's a fucking pentagram on the floor that I've been keeping an eye on. You alright? What are you up to? Just, you know that way I'm starting to be like, maybe, maybe, um, maybe do judge a book by its cover sometimes. Okay, let's hear. Again, I'm gonna stand here. <laughs> See if she says it again. I, that time I didn't. It didn't sound like I'm Shigar at the end. It sounded similar, but not quite. Right, I misheard it the first time. Right, that was near anything to do with me. So I think she's just mumbling to herself about nothing, but I'm curious. Come on! Please. Like Shikal, I heard that it's Am Shigar. It's fine. She's just talking shit. She's just doing a re snake part. Maybe she's in there saying like live, laugh, love or something. <laughs> right. So I've just got the thing about Erzog. Under the tavern. 
So if it's located, oh, drunk a bit more, yes, if it's located under the tavern, I wonder where that was then that I dispelled that wall, and then there was the guy, the kind of orc-looking dude in armor with his sword. <gasps> I'm wondering where that is, like where that's leading to. Who the fuck? Oh, it's the guard sleeping on the other side of the wall. I was getting freaked out there. Eh, uh, what one's my room again? Maybe I should check out my room. Is this, isn't this my room? Oh, I know what I forgot. I can't remember what one's mine. Mental going on in here, no? Nobody planting bombs, trying to kill me. Teleporters down there. Oh, I remember these ones. Lord Lunchire. Could you save us, Arm Chaga? I think I probably want to get into Lunchire's room at some point. Oh, you we'll look for some shit. Severus. Have I tried? I tried using just like keys on these ones. I mean, I'm not going to have a key to the kings. Hold on. Could I pickpocket the king? Is that a thing? Hmm. Oh, there's Falan's place in it. Needs wee puzzle door and Jesus Christ, that's an insane looking ceiling. That is more texture and work than anyone had to do for a game like this, but somebody really put their heart into it. Locked. It's too complicated for me. I think I have successfully picked about two locks in the whole fucking game. <laughs> Felnor? Who the fuck is Felnor? I don't remember what one's Felnor. Oh, Felnor's the kind of mage guy, isn't he? Right, well, we'll probably get attacked here for trying this, but let's just see what happens. That's not possible. Of course it isn't. Let's fucking reload the save. Um, I might go and try talking to the snake woman who said it wasn't my time to be here yet. Ah, I fell off the mage. So, oh, I wonder what one I'm missing there. Oh, that would probably be the one that was broken outside the tavern, maybe. Underground Lake, level 4, gate leading to the caves. Shit, wait, what level is it again? Right, dwarves. Rat. Eh, uh, no. Oh, I'm struggling to remember here. Right, that leads to the snake one. So that's the sixth floor. Then I can go to the fifth or the seventh. Let's see. Five. Oh, there's an empty bit there. Alright. So, go to five, then go to six for there. Wait. Oh, there it is. While I'm here, I might as well kill the... Uh, is it the Earth Clan? What one is it I wanted to kill? The Earth Clan asked me to kill the Water Clan Exchange, they will give me some gold. Goblin Water Clan asked me to kill the Earth Clan Exchange, they will give me a magic item. I think I'm going to kill the Earth Clan. Now I'm trying to remember which is which. Ah, oh, the Water Clan are the ones that are fishing. But one of them has accidentally killed himself already by standing in the fire. So... Let's see. Is he still dead? And his pals don't care. I think I'm going to 
kill these Oth Clan boys. Hey, are they doing here? I'm trying to remember where they were. They had a wee fireplace. No, no, that goes into the next floor. Oh, I remember. Oh, it's the long way around. And that's just those brothers, isn't it? Where there's just nothing. Wait, much gold have I got? Plenty. Oh, a darker ring of magic resistance. And some, uh, well, I've already got Mega and Spassy on. Uh, I don't know if I've got Movies, String on Terra. I might buy a couple of these at some point and get myself some more moves. Unless you can find all of them, but surely that's, I mean, I feel like I've scraped most of the game so far. Well, most of the levels that we've been on, which is the game. Um, so they must be either well hidden or there's some that you need to buy. Man, see what I'm thinking how easy it would be to just fuck yourself over because there must be a finite amount of gold in the game. Because enemies don't respawn for you to say like keep killing them and getting like armor drops to sell. You is kill all water people yet? No. No. <laughs> right. Save. Is it like a stealth explosion? Or... It doesn't. He... Oh, it, it maybe counts as attacking. The fact that he pulled out his thing. You not move. There we go. You how you say that in unison. Die, bitch. I love how his mate is just still eating a bit of fish. I think it's fish. Wait, where did you get fish if you're an Earth Clan? You're a traitor. You, you cut me head off, eh? When you doing that? Fucking me cut you head off. Kill the Earth Clan, that's great. Just succinct. You go to the Water Clan, they're like, have you done it yet? And you just show them. Aye, right, secondary, I was about to say that. I realised that's what was happening eh, at that wee diamond, that wee rhombus shape. Because when I hit the first guy, I saw it went green. Um, and then it got red as I was slashing him. Eh, I'm worried. That the guy for the water clan who walked himself into the fire is the one I need to talk to. You know what I mean? Let's see. You kill all Earth people yet? They're dead. All, all dead. dead. You is good partner. Even if human. Here is big magic. Amulet. Bring big luck for you. Quit. Is it just in my thing? It's a uh, pishy wee necklace. It's a neck. It's like it's a daft wee necklace. There's fucking nothing magical about that. You is human, good ally. A silver ring. Was there not a chest about here at all? Oh, lot. Oh man, my throat is so fucking sore. I think I've been talking too long. Just with this cough and everything. 
You is human good ally. Check some. How do you pickpocket? Earth people destroyed. Oh. We happy. That's great, mate. Where's my big magic thing you were going to give me? I do need to try and pick this fucking this chest. I can't do that. What, what can you do, I'm sugar? You can't pick a fucking thing, mate. Can you pick your nose? I doubt it. Oh, man. Aye, I feel... <clears throat> I'm feeling kind of rotten now. I think I might call it a night after that really anticlimactic <laughs> wee murder of those goblins. Um, but let's do this. The latest... Oh, shit. I think I caught a night. Oh, need to go and get some dinner and some medicine. Fucking shoot that up my nose. <clears throat> aye. Aye, I'm feeling terrible. <laughs> what am I doing? I forget how to work this. Well, we made that much progress. We made that much. The tiniest wee sliver. That's not the correct screen. That was not the correct screen. Oh, big brawls, what a time to, to pop in. Perfection. Aye, we made tiny, tiny progress. The good thing is, we've we've cleared out floor 8, and we know what can be done down there. So now I've just got some... Uh, we need to go and see the snake women next time. Maybe have a, a crack at that guy behind the repel shield thing and see what's what's going on in his life. Hopefully death. His death. And aye, we'll see what happens. Ugh. <clears throat> aye, I'm fucked. <laughs> but thank you for joining me. You should take care of yourselves. Brush and floss your teeth. Wash your arse. You try and be the best person you can be in your day-to-day -day life. And I'll see you next time. Good night. <coughs> Fuck.